do you? All of us have our own authentic identity. Something that makes us tick. Things that make you laugh. Things that make you cry. Things that make you inspired. We all have something inside of us that guides our behavior day by day. Our authentic self. And once you discover that person, your life is usually happier and more fulfilled. To explore this subject, I would like to use Captain Ganyu as an example. Now, Captain Ganyu had this interesting attack where he would switch bodies with people. His spirit would jump out of his body and go into yours and your spirit would jump out of your body and go into his. It was a really interesting attack that I have never seen done anywhere else. What makes the attack so effective is he'll also wound himself before he switches with you. So now that you're in his wounded body, he's in your body and the general impression I get is that he only does that if he's losing the fight. So then he's also beat up and wounded and you're not because you're winning. Now the assumption here is that if he switched bodies with you, that he'll be stronger because of you. Now what was interesting though is that the way that Goku trained, it wasn't just about his physical body, it was a bunch of other things that kind of helped him along. So when they did switch bodies, Ginyu couldn't really maximize the power that Goku had going on within his body. And I think that to be true with people is that oftentimes people, at least with envy and coveting and stuff like that, they'll look and they'll say, if I had their life, if I had their wife, if I had their job, I would do this, 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 and this. And sometimes it's true, I guess. But most of the time, you don't know what it takes to maintain the life that they lead. Because we see highlight reels on social media all the time. And we don't know what people's rough days are like. We don't know what their pressures are like. We don't know what those conversations are like when nobody else is around. What goes on inside this person's mind? What insecurities they hold? Because most people aren't even upfront about that type of stuff. They try their best to conceal it. Whether it has to makeup or jewels or whatever else, they, they have things that they walk around and secure about that they don't want people to see. So they do their best for it not to be seen. You don't know how someone's life actually is. And you can't know. There's no way to know fully. So how fruitless is that exercise? What is this comparison doing for you exactly? Now, there's nothing wrong with seeing some things that people are accomplishing, being inspired and wanting to take the next steps for yourself. That's healthy. That's inspiration. That's motivation. Those are sometimes how you get to your best goals, you know. But you have to maximize who you are, who you are, and not try to force yourself to be someone else. Because all that really does is frustrate and confuse you at the end of the day because it's an impossible feat it's an impossible feat to try to be someone else it's an impossible feat to try to live someone else's life and if you could as explored by a bunch of movies over our childhood it would be weird because it's their life their life has been customized by their choices your life has been customized by yours and if you want to change your life make different choices that's all that's the beginning middle and end of it because Ginyu when he switched bodies with Goku his power level was terrible we had just saw Goku getting this knock down drag out battle with Vegeta and we also learned after he recovered that he was stronger than Vegeta but Vegeta washed Ginyu when he was inside of Goku's body you can't do someone else as good as you can do you which leads me to my final point is there is no point no fruit and no progress in pretending to be someone else and it feels like that's the thing in this generation i'm noticing it where people suppress themselves to try to fit inside of a mold that they feel like they need to 
they adopt opinions they don't really hold they get into things they don't really like they go places they don't want to go and for what to be and where the action is to be where people are instead of finding or potentially even building a space where you and people like you can enjoy yourself you have to be you you have to dress like you you have to think like you you have to embrace you to really get the most out of life because in Ginyu's body or in Goku's body you have a low power level and you don't want to live your life that way you deserve better